Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Next, we're going to continue with what is contract costing. So, what is contract costing? So, as we mentioned earlier just now, contract costing is a form of your specific order costing. And it is a system of job costing that apply that is applied to relatively large cost units. Okay, it's a relatively large cost units and normally takes a considerable length of time to complete. Uh, when we talk about the length of time, normally it's completed within more than one accounting period. Okay, the unit cost is a single contract. Okay, for example, you are building and uh, uh, you are involved in a building and construction work, uh, road and railway contracts, uh, civil construction, uh, engineering projects, shipbuilding, uh, bridge constructions, and so on. So, if you're involved in this kind of uh, product, then that uh, contract costing is more suitable to be applied. So, as we mentioned earlier, specific order costing, you have the uh, uh, specific order costing that depends on the customer's special requirement. It's either job, batch or contract. But contract is normally, it takes a longer duration to complete. And cost, what about the cost unit? Normally, the cost is, an, in, it involves a large sum of money. For example, if you want to build a house, you won't incur cost of 10, 10 uh, maybe 10,000 ringgit is still not enough for you to build a house. So, it could be more than 100,000. Thousand ringgit, but if you want to complete a job, job you can fin and you can complete it. You can get a job within uh, ten thousand ringgit or less amount. So we compare and uh, between a contract and job. So normally contract is a, a system of job costing that is applied where large cost units are being undertaken and also the time to complete that particular contract. Normally it is more than one accounting. Period. So you you calculate the cost unit as a one contract as a one cost unit. Okay. If you involved in this construction work, if you involved in this construction work, for example, the shipbuilding, the road building, railway contracts, etc., all the civil engineering uh, engineering works, then in that case, contract costing is more suitable to be applied. So that is basically what contract costing is all about. Okay. Next, we look into the characteristics of contract costing. So, uh, if that job is to be carried out, uh, is large in value, as I mentioned just now, compared to contract costing, then job costing is more suitable in that case. Next, if that job takes a longer duration to complete, then normally contract costing is more suitable to be applied. Okay, when I talk about longer duration, it is a relative. That means you are looking at it. If it is more than one accounting period, normally then uh, contract costing is more suitable to be used. And then for each contract, you will maintain uh, a contract account that is known as the construction in process account or sometimes it, it, it is also called as the construction in progress account. And then, similar to job, except for it is different in size. Different in size means the uh, amount, okay, the under, that is the job, uh, the contract costing is also undertaken to customer special requirement. Just that it is different in terms of the size. And then, uh, another characteristic of contract costing is that it is site-oriented. What do you mean by site-oriented? It depends on the site, you know, the construction work, where the work is under taken so that is it is a it is site oriented and then normally it has a high proportion of direct cost and low uh, proportion of your ovid cost okay for example you can see in a building a lot of material so material is a direct cost so you incur a lot of your direct cost normally okay for a contract so that is basically the characteristics for your contract costing next we're going to look into the Parties involved in contract costing. So, you need to know what is meant by a contractor. So, basically, a contractor is the party or the person who produces the job or the product or the contract required by the customers. If you have a contractor, you have the contractor. So, contractor is basically the customers, where a contractor is basically the seller or the person who produces the job. So, the customer is the contractor and then Maybe you will have a subcontractor. So, you, uh, the person who does the supporting job, that will be your subcontractor. On top of that, you 
uh, also have architect or professional surveyor. So this is a party who certify and value the work done by the contractor and then issue the valuation of contract progress at the required date. So these are the parties involved in your contract costing. Okay, thank you.